The songs from the album uh, are all really uh, based on personal encounters um, over the past uh, four or five years really. Some euphoric, um, some a little awkward, uh, some romantic in a sense I guess. And um, you know, for example Gloria uh, is a song about um, an escort that I met near K Road while I was dropping off a CD to a friend and uh, we had a little misunderstanding. Probably the thing that kept coming up quite a lot was, was just that feeling of, of wanting to um, escape a little bit of isolation and, and trying to get away um, and perhaps that's where the Arctic sort of thing came in a little bit. Um, a lot of the songs I wrote you know three or four in the morning um, while I was on my own somewhere in the middle of nowhere and um, that seemed to, to, to form the basis, the inspiration for the album. There is something in the way I don't remember the songwriting process being arduous at all. Um, I guess I was lucky in that because it was my first album I had, you know, four or five years to, to work towards its release. In that time, I mean, that meant that I could write the songs and play the songs live and then go back and make changes, play them live again and, and keep working at them um, for, for a while before we ended up in, in the studio. We only had a week um, in the studio to record the album, so we went in, um, you know, having recorded already uh, at my home studio the, the bones of, of the songs and um, especially the string arrangements because they're quite time consuming so I was able to, to work at those for, for a few months. And in the week that we had at the lab studio, um, I mean that left us to be able to, to tinker with some ideas and try some things and we'd have friends coming in um, you know, for a couple of hours at a time and, and putting different um, parts down. We sort of took the approach that you know, we'd work away at something that we enjoyed. There were three of us, myself, Oliver Harmer, the engineer, and Wayne Bell, the producer. And we, we kind of thought, well, if we make something that we enjoy, then um, you know, without any kind of regard for fiscal outcomes, that uh, hopefully a few other people might, might enjoy it as well. Uh, we're working towards getting the album released in North America and uh, that began at the end of last year and I went to the CMJ festival uh, to play there in New York and so I'm going back to spend the second half of this year based in New York and working towards the release of the album in North America and maybe, maybe Europe, we'll see. In the meantime it's nice that it is available on iTunes so um, you know people can download it anywhere and and uh, I got an email from someone in Portland recently and she said oh, I heard your song Gloria on college radio and downloaded the album and um, that was heartening to know that, that it was being listened to. You can shout at it's an honour to be nominated for the Tate. I mean Dylan Tate um, you know through his music reporting you know stood for an innovative approach, innovation, unique approach. He seemed to enjoy breaking rules. He bucked all of the trends. And in that sense, it's, um, you know, it's nice to be associated with an award that, that casts aside, I guess, commercial success and music trends and, and uh, you know, focuses very much on, on the craft and, and what's gone into making an album. I've only asked for you. If I was to win, um, <laughs> I'd really like a new guitar. I've only got one guitar, and it's a nice guitar, but it would be really cool to have another one. I've had my eye on one for a couple of years now. Um, otherwise, uh, I've been writing songs for my next album, and it would be really nice to have some, I guess, some, um, some funds to put towards the recording of that later in the year. Mm.